Barshins is brought to you by our awesome patrons. Thanks for supporting the channel. I had to walk out of the room. Yeah. Because Daddy needs I, to calm down. Daddy it? couldn't be going, <laughs> yes, you <laughs> face, you little shit. Who beat you? <laughs> Congratulations, you're listening to the Barshans Podcast, you Congratulations, amazing Congratulations, listener. <laughs> Hi, Ash. Hello there. How are you doing? How's it going? Yeah, I'm really good, and thank you for my congratulations for listening. Your, uh, congratulations for having a chair. Oh, I mean, it, I had to battle for it, but yeah. I got there in the end. <laughs> Come I, on, guys. I was surprised yeah. you didn't bring your own. I thought you've done podcasts before. Come I on. I can't believe you made all the other guests be on their knees. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. That's well, cool. they, they were so inhumanly tall that if they sat, they'd just look like a giant in a throne. Why do you only get uh, giants on the podcast? It's strange. You have to intimidate the YouTube staff to get them in, and they're <laughs> terrified of tall people. Fairly true. But that's why they've got the big sliding doors at the front. Exactly. Roll them in. What a start. <laughs> uh, friend of the show, Ash Frith, but also friend in real life. Mm. Uh, mm. Didn't like you meant that. No, 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 yeah. absolutely. <laughs> uh, Ash, I ever, ever see you when I come to London, so obviously this is nice. This is a, this is a moment. Uh, thanks for coming back. <laughs> no, we, I we appreciate still in London, being asked. Oh, yeah, we are still, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but though, sometimes when you're in this room, you never really realise you are. And just end it there. Not, yes. <laughs> not even in London. Barry just often forgets yeah, the cities he's in. <laughs> You're a globetrotter anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. So. Western Supermare and sometimes Swindon. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we're talking in the Swindon for five minutes today. The train got delayed. So. Oh, wow. And you were all right. Anyway, yeah, I think yeah. so. I'm in the tracks. I just. Sat there. I've been swimming. You're in the tracks. Yeah, I'm right in there. That's, that's <laughs> the the tracks. Tracks. A gang of DJing. Yeah. On the train. Yeah. You, know what I'm you know when kids play their phones too loudly on the train? <laughs> Barry, he's got decks. What is it with that? I don't that? know what that is. What is it with that? Like, I, when I yeah. walk with the dogs, I see a guy walking past, you know, with oh, a hood I think up, it's like... that kids are arseholes. Right. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> There's any a kids really odd there? guy in Norwich who walks around in a big white puffer jacket um, and always listening to music, but he listens to it with an iPad that he holds out flat in front of him as he walks forward. Wow, it's really like he's serving and, music. So, yeah, and and it's just no headphones or anything, just blaring. I've out. got an iPad. I would never hold it like that. You do no, have an iPad weird, down there. It? We could do this in a, yeah. in a moment, but okay. for people listening, that would be this. awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to play some music out of it. Yeah. yeah, we've got this thing on our TV that the kids keep sitting on the remote control, and every now and then they'll go to bed and we'll turn on the telly. It's like the, the, the audio descriptive thing. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. so and so has walked into a door, or something. and it's like we what? had oh. this, and uh, we accidentally had it on when we were watching Game of Thrones. Mm. And we had no idea oh. because there's lots of um, subtitles in Game of Thrones, right? Like throughout, because they're talking in made-up foreign languages. Oh, well, I've never seen it. And uh, loads of tits. And um, I have been encouraged <laughs> to watch it for that general reason. And, I'm going to be winkles. honest. If you want winkles, yeah. What's a winkle? It's like a penis, but no, it's a penis. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> Well, this is the thing. I, say, I mentioned the tits only because yeah, I mean, so my I'd probably be more interested it. in the, the, the female it's side. Fine. But Barry. Yeah. Yeah. Don't Why feel you have to defend yourself. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah. It's 1998. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> um, me and my girlfriend watched Game of Thrones. and But what we did was we only started watching it just before the last series. So we just binged it. And then it was brilliant because we then went into the new series mm. and had avoided all spoilers because we didn't care. And then, but every time we've got this thing that happens where A, she will lay and watch it and I'll pat the theme tune on her feet when the show starts. Uh, and every time there's breasts on the on the telly, yeah. you know, tits, it's just a lovely little game. It's oh, like, you just say it. You don't, just say tits. Yeah, yeah, you've got okay. to be the first person to say tits. Okay. I'll have to um, bear that in mind. I, I wonder if there's a way of doing that watered down for like a kid like Peppa Pig. You can't well. say tits pig. on Peppa Pig. Oh, yeah. Pig. 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 Mummy, you've been saying that a lot. To no, be fair. And it's teats yeah. as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> what is the difference between a tit and a teat? How about an inch. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but is it the areoli? Is it the circumference? Is it the... So let's go into nipple demographics here or oh, analytics. Oh, God, do we? Not again. <laughs> Every time we meet up with Ash, it's bloody <laughs> yeah. nipple demographics more to all. Hashtag nipple yeah. talk. I think a teat would be on a an animal, a non-human. Mm. You don't get cow tits. <laughs> I mean, you do. You get udders. Or do they have teats and udders? Tudders. Tudders. Right. <laughs> I went to school with him. Just going to look right, up teats. Tudders? I'm sure there's no problem with that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Well, as a comedian, I always think, like, my search history, like, sometimes I Google stuff and I think, if anyone who didn't know who I was yeah. looked at my Google history, they go, why is he Googling that? But it's normally <laughs> just to see, like, so that even if you're talking nonsense and a bit of stand-up, I want it to be almost factually correct. So I'll Google all sorts of stuff. Yeah. That's my excuse, anyway. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> why have you been looking at this? It's for a bit. Yeah. yeah. 
yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll save teats versus tits for um, my train home. Did you? Yeah. You sort of didn't want to say. Tits, I, no, no. no I like, said it a hundred. I sort times. of censor myself like teats. I, I've looked this up and then forgot. Hang on. So teat is a nipple of the mammary gland of a female mammal from which the milk is sucked by the young. Yeah, but a uh, female mammal Neil is young, a human right? specifically. <laughs> a human's a mammal. <laughs> Yes. So that's yeah. A yeah, teat so, is yeah a, so the teat is the is the operative part. So the actual stump of the, the stump. The stump <laughs> well, you of the know, chest. like the the core the chest stump. Yeah. Let's go foodie. Right. Imagine a nipple is a creme caramel on a plate. Right. So the plate Stop doing is this. the. Is, sorry, I'm trying to <laughs> creme caramels don't have nipples, Barry. Right, but How many times? The, the creme caramel is the is the stump. So if you turn it on its side, that's the. That's what I'm saying is... I uh, don't know what a creme caramel is. Okay, like it's, a... It's um, very nice. Imagine like um, a fondant chocolate pudding, like a... Just a, a stump. Fond- a, tree, like a tree stump on a plate. Well, I'm from Essex, so um, we have those goo Ooh. desserts. Oh, yeah, and in this, Essex, we all keep nice. the little glass dishes to yeah. do other stuff with. Yeah, yeah. Like a ramekin. They do a nice yeah. chocolate spread at the moment. So they do salted caramel on. Picked it up on the shop the other day next to the Nutella. Hashtag not spawn. Not yet. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag not yet. Can't have any of that now. Made that decision, didn't I? What? Oh, I'm yeah, vegan. vegan, yeah. Stupid. <laughs> wow. I've got a vegan friend that was going to come on and do a taste test. He's teased is, out. Is this the guy called is Lettuce? This, yes. Let, we call him Lettuce, but that was when he was a vegetarian. I was now going to call him Lentil. But, um, I mean, it's still... To, to be fair, I, th- I think vegans can eat lettuce. Is, yeah. That's or true, there's that thing, isn't there, about no, honey, no. isn't there? There's No, okay. avocados. This, isn't there there's a thing figs. about avocado? Is it figs? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe avocados. I think it's avocados as well. Some bugs like live off them. Well, also. fig uh, in the wild, wild figs, mm. they all have to be... <laughs> Amazing um, album. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fig incredible. in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we'll leave that to Alec in the future, <laughs> I feel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, um, they can only be pollinated by... Um, what happens is a female fig wasp... I mean, how they knew. A fig um, wasp. Goes up inside the uh, fig as it is uh, growing and it lays its eggs in the fig and then it tries to get out, but it dies. All its wings come off as it climbs inside because it's too tight. And um, oh, wow. then it lays its eggs, dies. Then the as it degrades inside the growing fig, yeah. uh, that then feeds the fig that's growing. Then the eggs hatch, but the male... Uh, wasp eggs hatch first they then climb down and impregnate their still unborn sisters wow they then try to burrow out of the fig uh, but they never make it all the way out and they die the then now pregnant female fig wasps are born they use the tunnels that their brothers died in and have yeah. now rotted away. I see brothers as like rappers, like my brothers. Oh, they are rappers as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, Barry, give up. up. I DJ got Fig Wasp. <laughs> DJ Fig Wasp. I got the genre completely wrong, So yeah. They then crawl out, the female pregnant ones, yeah. nibble their way off the, just the bit that the brothers didn't get through. And then they go and do it and then they find another fig. And die. That's their entire life cycle, is to be impregnated before they're born, and then that's a hell of a this is just fig. Hollyoaks surely but in if you buy a fig <laughs> if in, that was on Hollyoaks so. yeah and then what happens is the fig wasp lands at the back of the club and someone pushes them and they fall down the stairs and die because ah, that's what happens in Hollyoaks every single yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, that's right so yeah so that's how they, they wow figs. so when you're eating a fig you're basically eating dead wasps well you would be if you picked a fig off a tree but in supermarkets they do it all um, but then yeah, where do you draw the line with surely veganism? Not I don't, all figs have been wasped up. No, no, no. If you buy it in a supermarket, none of them yeah. have now. Right. But like that's the thing. My dad, when I said I was going vegan, was like, well, you can't eat anything then. Because if they plough a field, they might decapitate a worm. Yeah. I think they said swan. They're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> the first yeah, animal comes to my head. <laughs> Plough that field. Wallop. <laughs> there we go. You could get a worm. Yeah, a worm. But I yeah, so I, I think, and it's the same as honey because they'd say a lot of vegans would say if you haven't got permission from the animal to use their yeah. stuff, you can't use you've got it. To sign this, but I think you know <laughs> if you if you're vegan, you got a pet dog. What's the difference between that and having a pet? Depends how much of the dog you eat. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. yeah, I don't know, but I'd eat honey probably. So we haven't introduced Ash properly yet. This is Ash Frith. Hi. Hi, Ashford. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Isn't vegan. It weird? Whenever I walk in, I just start talking about wasps <laughs> and uh, figs. And then, but like, don't, do not introduce me yet, guys. Okay, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. really got to get this just got to get this out. off my chest. <laughs> yep. Off my teeth. Yeah, rip open your shirt, you've got a tattoo just of wasps fig wasps. Just wasps pouring out. All these figs, figs for all. Yeah. Um, okay, if you could do, summarise who you are to people that don't know who you are. My name is Ash Frith. I'm I a am. fig wasp expert. I am, <laughs> in many ways. It turns out I am. I didn't realise. Um... I am a professional uh, Barshan's guest, yes, <laughs> mainly. Uh, I am, I'm a stand-up comedian. So I'm not going to dress it up in any other way. Yeah. 
That's what I do. So I am. Get, get used to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you don't like it, oddly yeah. controversial introduction. Yeah, Z snap. If you don't like it, yeah. sod ya. Yeah. I'm a stand up comedian. Prove me wrong. <laughs> there, I tell you what, there is proof that I am, and there's very little anyone can do about it at this stage. Yeah. It's great to have Ash here because you do also host a podcast as well with uh, your friend that we haven't actually I've, I've met. Uh, I have not met Pranks. No. Yeah, Justin Panks. We, we call it's called Pranks and Firth. I'm gonna look down the barrel of the lens. It's called Pranks and Firth because everyone gets our names wrong like all the time. Like he got a package in the post last week, and it was to uh, Jasmine Plonks. <laughs> I bet she does. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's just, yeah, and it, well, we get introduced on stage. Obviously, he's a stand-up as well. And um, and it's constant that our names yeah. are wrong. So we just thought we'd call it Pranks and Firth and have done with it. Uh, and he's just two blokes talking, which I know there's not many podcasts out there. No, 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 there, no, but, no, no. Uh, Two uh, white guys having yeah. a chat? We just revolutionary. Fig yes. wasps all the time. We do yeah. just talk nonsense and people seem to like it. Great. And we have a great time. And he's, yeah. So his last name's Pranks, is his it? His last name is Panks. Panks. So even you're yeah. doing it. Ah. Yeah, but it's uh, okay. it always Pranks or Pan. He's had Justin Panels. <laughs> the best one that he's had. Justin was- Panels. <laughs> yeah, he's a fencing guy. <laughs> um, we, the best one I think he's had was Justin uh, Panels. He had Justin Pranks, uh, which I think sounds like a sort of clown entertainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Justin Pranks. That's all I do. I'm Justin Pranks. Yeah, yeah I've had Fish, Firth, Forth, Froth. Wow. Froth, oh, Froth. Yeah. I enjoy Froth. Ash yeah, Froth. Just in general. I love it as well because people will say, they'll ask me my name, I'll tell them. And then as they're introducing me on stage, you could see the panic because they realise, oh, I don't remember what it was. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love that. I've I've had passion, fashion. My favourite being lash on hyphenated. <laughs> so I don't, still don't understand where that came lash from on. all these years later. That's cool. That's My like, brother's yeah. got a uh, hyphenated surname because, um, well, his parents didn't love him enough to stay together but mine did so um <laughs> we share one of those and uh he so his name is whitehead frith but he got jerry his name is jeremy jerry bashforth firth which is a wow brilliant one. wow yeah. bashforth firth i like that well, well, double barreled or something whitehead froth isn't something you'd want to get definitely it? no. not that's, uh, you can get yeah. cream for that that's the you? least popular thing at shake shack <laughs> yeah um shall we have a shot article let's okay let me play, play the theme play the music Fresh from the annals of Chart, we have... The annals? The annals. The yeah, annals. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> You're the wrong guys here today. <laughs> right. From ctvnews.ca, which I'm assuming is Canadian. Yeah. yeah. We have David Assman <laughs> yes. has cheeky response after being denied personalised licence plates. Oh, I saw this. This came in on our Twitter. I think I applied a retweet. <laughs> is this the uh, ass man? Applied, that... I like that. It's like, <laughs> it's like a <laughs> medical <laughs> procedure. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll do just going to do a little uh, <laughs> retweet on that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think I'll find that was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> so is his surname Assman? No, Assman. A-S-S-M-A-N. Assman. Assman. That's one for yeah. the out-of-context people. Hey, oh, Assman. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Batman's very unpopular brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so is it like ass man or is it just... Yeah, psh- it's all, all one word. Yeah. yeah. The dark shite. The t- <laughs> <laughs> just to go with your joke. And the dark <laughs> shite rises. <laughs> Sometimes it yeah, does. The, yeah, the bloody oh, flush isn't working. Bring the back with a coat hanger and flush <laughs> oh, it around. <laughs> oh, that's wow. damage. That's good. Right. That's good. So, a Saskatchewan man has come up with a cheeky response to the province rejecting his request for a personalised license plate. Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. No, Saskatchewan. <laughs> I'm the scat man. Scat- I'm the ass man. But I want to be a bummer. <laughs> Sorry. That's a record I would not even. Hey, he's dead. Rest in peace, the scat man. What was it's that? not my yeah. fault. Yeah. Like, went to <laughs> just to do a he just did the line. Just checking my answer in my dead. chest. Still there. <laughs> <laughs> Spectacles, testicles, yeah. fuck him. That's how he died. His, his brain fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he pushed too hard. We've all done it. Yeah. Uh, I'm too close. Um, he yeah, died because he had a thing that made him do the scat. I think we talked about it before. He yeah. died because he had a thing that made him do the scat. Yeah, the scat. But I'm a really vicious parent. Yeah, it, it was like a thing. The scat that killed him. The yeah. scat killed him. Yeah, everybody, is, everybody stutters one way or the other. So check out my message to you. But he had a stutter thing. Yeah. Do you remember made the stutter rap? Oh, Tony, oh. Hawk. Tony Hawk, yeah. No? We've all been caught in a mumma mouth trap. So join yeah. with us in the stutter oh, rap. I Are we making an album? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. It was a yeah. Beastie Boys yeah. parody. Oh, yeah. wow. Um, but I showed that to my son the other day and he went, is this okay? 
I went, oh, I'm probably not, not actually. That's that's it is. <laughs> Just wow. Tony Hawk in general. Yeah. Like, Isn't Tony Hawk now actually trying to do some skateboarding stuff? Yes, that did it, happen, didn't yeah. it? It's like a. Well, go back on the board. No, no, he's not. A, he's Tony Hawk, not Tony Hawks. He's a comedian. Oh, right. Yeah. In, uh, Very big 80s. in the late 80s, yeah, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. He was right, on what was Red he in? Dwarf and. Which one was he in Red Dwarf? Oh, he was the was voice the of the one? toaster after the original I guy. Didn't. Ah. And he did all the warm up for the show. And he's also he's in it a few times, but I can't think of any character. I remember him wearing a sort of spangly suit jacket at one point. Okay. He's in Backwards. He's in Backwards. backwards. He's he the guy who is. Talks. He's the um, guy who owns the bar where Rimmer and Crichton get their show where they do everything. Okay. Else. Yeah, there was one episode of Red Dwarf that I absolutely loved. It's, I think it had the word "life" in the title. Is it the better than life? Better than life? Yeah. Was it where anything they wanted came true? Was that the one? Yeah, that frustrates me. I've got this. I know we're doing shasticles, and I can only apologize. That's fine. But That's I fine. um, I've got this weird thing where that bothers me to this day because it's Rimmer can't allow happiness to right. happen. So like he's got I think Marilyn Monroe no, Marilyn Monroe, Monroe's there but he gets the woman of his dreams, That's right, yeah. he gets the car of his dreams and then it all just crumbles away and he ruins it for everyone. That's but right, yeah. I know it's a comedy show and I know it's just fun but in my head I go why can't he just enjoy <laughs> himself? Yeah. Like it wouldn't be a funny comedy show but I just think yeah. they yeah. could just live in there and be happy forever. Yeah. It still bothers me. I, don't, a great episode, I have that, that with was. loads of stuff where yeah. a TV show just makes me wish that they'd if things was okay. Yeah, yeah. When you spoke to Robert oh. the Wedding, did he ever say his did he have a favourite episode of it? Or? I've never asked him that actually, no. Okay. If you mention Red Dwarf, he starts to punch. Really? Does he, <laughs> he hates it. No. I wonder what it was like no, being in that suit him for that, him. Like, Bloody hot is the answer to that. Hmm. He would do a thing for the audience, apparently, where because obviously you filmed in front of a live studio was it? audience, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Um where he would just tilt his head after a bit of filming and just sweat pours out into a glass, which uh, Danny John Jules would hold. And, and drink. then no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> shots. Yeah. There was a few stories about him when he was on a Strictly, Danny Jules being yeah, a great bit, guy. Uh, yeah, being a very friendly chap. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I have not ass heard man, these. Anyway, anyway <laughs> from these dubious claims to Ass Man. <laughs> uh, so David Ass Man, oh sorry, pronounced Os Man. Oh, um, but is it still A W S S Man? Okay. Os Man. How does that pronounce Os Man? Uh, it's a bit too embarrassed. A bit like, like yeah. Mr. Diaz, yeah. isn't no, it? Is or uh, Johnny human, Cockburn. Oh, yeah, Coburn, isn't there it? We go. Yeah. I don't know who Johnny Cockburn is. <laughs> I don't, know. don't like the sound of him. No. God. Saskatchewan Government Insurance, SGI, said no because it could be considered offensive when seen out of context. I mean, that is true. Yeah. It's going to have to deal with that. If your name is Arse Man, you're going to have to deal with the fact that some people might be a bit confused by it. Yeah. It's, yeah. In response, he added a large Ass Man decal to the back of his truck that's designed to look like a license plate. Yeah. Uh, so I did retweet this on the Twitter. Anyone who's listening, if you have a little look for that, just search Ass Man <laughs> yeah. on our Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Google that. It's fine. fine. Possibly yeah. use somebody else's Wi Fi. Yeah. But, but it's uh, kind of like these yeah. American style number plates, hasn't it? He's literally just put that much bigger letters on the back yeah. of his truck. So it's just like Ass Man. Yeah, yeah. And then underneath it, PH 4721B. <laughs> <laughs> I know that he's trying to prove, he's saying he's sort of trying to prove a point. He should be allowed to have his own name. But I think you've got, if you're doing that anyway, you're a dick. Like, if you're having that yeah. as big as that on the back of your van. Yeah. Maybe it's like Minority Report and they just looked into the future and saw he's the sort of person who'd do that, so they That's denied it. No. it. Yeah. But then it became a self-fulfilling prophecy. And, nothing and, can do, is there? It's precog. Yeah. Always going to happen. Uh, I like, yeah, it's kind of like a sort of mini superhero vehicle vibe going on with that ass man. Ass man the superhero. Yeah. yeah just yeah, like that's... buttocks. Oh, Eminem did that on his music video, didn't he? Yeah. You know, <laughs> so I was just thinking aloud. I don't know that one. I'm not saying it's Yeah, I, mean, I, no, I like just... white rappers, so it's, you know, it's cool. Yeah. Down That's with the kids, yo. Always on your train journey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is thick. I'm doing that, by the way. I was, uh, I was <laughs> pointing through the dishes. <laughs> I thought it was a velociraptor learning to type. <laughs> <laughs> Very difficult for it, yeah. You're oh. right. So, Ash, like, stand up, how did you get into it? When did you realise you were funny? Well, I'm still waiting for that. <laughs> uh, what happened was, um, uh, I was good friends growing up with Richard Sandling. Do you know okay, Richard? Oh, I know yeah, of him, but yeah. Stuart so you has know a, Richard, Richard, a shrine Richard. of him. Uh, in, in and his... he were, he won So You Think You're Funny in 2007, I think, which is one of the big Edinburgh Awards. He'd been doing stand-up for a while. And one night, I was drunkenly walking back from the pub, and I got a message from Richard saying, I've booked you in to do your first five minutes. It's on this date, which is about a month in the future. You need to have five minutes material. 
that that was the end of it. And I'd never sort of, I'd always wanted to do it, but I'd oh, never right. actually bothered to do it. I was like about probably maybe 10 years ago this happened. And so I'd never done anything about it and he just made me do it. So I wrote five minutes of material, which looking back was unacceptable. Every part of it was unacceptable. <laughs> and I did it. And I mean, looking back, it didn't go well. In my head, it was the greatest moment ever because I'd always wanted to do it. And uh, I never stopped. I've just never stopped. Mm. And when you're starting out and you do open mic gigs, uh, I got very lucky. Very early on, I came up with a good three-minute bit. And that, every time I did a gig, I'd get three gigs because people go, oh, I like that bit. And they booked me specifically to do this bit. And then gradually... I used to listen to uh, the Comedians Comedian podcast with Stuart Goldsmith, which is great. Anyone listening should listen to it. Um, and everyone talks about their different writing techniques. And I had no idea how to write. I still have no idea how to write, really. But on there, I'd listen to these guys say, oh, yeah, I don't even think about it anymore. I have an idea and I don't write it down. I walk on stage. I just talk it through. I couldn't get my head around that. And then Rod Gilbert was on one week and he said, what he does is he would have an idea and then gradually he imagines it like a bit of Play-Doh and he just puts another little bit of Play-Doh on that and another little bit. And that's how he built his five minutes into his 10 minutes into his 20 minutes. And that was the bit that resonated with me was that's, oh, that's how I'm going to write. Because I think you can just go, I'm going to do that five minutes and chuck it away and then try and do another five minutes. But if you just take that five minutes and add to it very, you can add a minute. You know, if you, yeah. if you, if you do a, write a minute of comedy a week, you've got an hour every year. So, yeah. well, you haven't. You've got 52 minutes, but pull your yeah. finger out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just talk slowly. And yeah. yeah. Uh, well, by the time you've waited for the laughs. Exactly. Hey. Yes. So that, well, that's the case. So, yeah, that resonated with me. And then, like I say, I had this one bit that people would book, but they say, oh, can you come do this gig? And you will do that bit, won't you? Yeah. And then eventually, um, you know, started writing other stuff. And that bit, can you do that? I'm not going to. Because, <laughs> again, some of it that. What happened was I did an Edinburgh, Edinburgh show and it went well and everything. It was a good, it's a good bit, but I don't, I, I was do, I was performing it and I was just thinking I don't agree with what I'm saying. Okay. It wasn't horrible or anything like that. I just thought, oh, this isn't, I don't find this funny anymore. Hmm. I don't like, um, it was sort of pitched, making fun. But it was based on the Mr. Men. Okay. The, the books. Mm -hmm. And it was about the individual things that, because all the Mist Men have got obviously a, a flawed character trait. And then it, look, it sort of, they all fix their flawed character trait at the end of the book. So I w went into sort of the detail of why they had this flawed character trait. And then it went really well. Every time I did it, it went really well. And then I just thought to myself, I don't like that bit anymore because it was mean. And I don't right. want to be mean. I don't find any fun in being mean anymore. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Hmm. So did anybody from television ever steal that bit? Yes. Do you do, have I spoken to you about this? No, before? I just assumed so, because every time you speak to a comedian, you had a popular bit, yeah. somebody has nicked it. So right. I The actual did, format of it, sort of. That was yeah, the, the material. Word. Actually, word. Oh, yeah. oh, so like proper plagiarism, like my, me, did a me and my GCSEs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I did a Fair gig enough. with um, a very famous uh, comedian, on a Monday, and he was trying out material for a show, a uh, news-based weekly show. Panel show, oh, like I see, on, where you on would many, make uh, fun of the week. Oh, I see I see what you mean. And possibly there would be some sort of uh, person who was in charge of it every week who doesn't have much hair. Yes. Yeah. And so I did this, and that person was trying out material for that particular show. Yeah. I was, oh, I think I know the show. Yeah. 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 Okay. I feel I've given enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that yeah. um, cookery show, you like, walk the meek. Yeah. 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 And uh, so I did this bit in front of him, and then I was in the park on Saturday, uh, and my dad phoned me up and just went, "Have you? did you watch the show, that particular show last night? I said, no. He went, well, this comedian just did part of that bit, your bit, word for word. Oh. And so I contacted the guy who run the gig and said, did you know, like, he's just done, and the, the guy said, yeah, he will do that. He's just <laughs> known for that. He said he will, just he's a magpie, he'll pick wow. the bits. I uh, didn't do anything about it, but it wasn't, you know, that kind of thing is difficult when you're starting up and a big comedian. Like I've done bits that I've, I've thought, oh, this has got... Because I think if you write a decent bit, you go, I can hang my coat on that bit for... It, that's going to be my 20, it'll be my closer for a certain amount of time. And then you see a more established act do something similar, like not that they've seen you, it just so happens they've got the same idea. Every time you then do that bit, 
It looks like you've nicked it. No one's uh, ever going to believe yeah, that you've it's not going to be the, the other and... way around. Yeah, that's like YouTube in a strange way. Like you yeah. know, if you do a video that goes quite well, you, oh, two days later, a YouTuber massive has done very similar like video yeah. and they you know, they've copied something that works. There will also yeah. be if you're doing stuff that's based on the news or or whatever. There will be a certain thing where there's going to be crossover. So if you're trying to talk about, uh, obviously everyone's sc scratching around for one idea, a funny thing. So you're all going to cross paths. It's just about mm. you ha you having a unique take on it, I think. Uh, but then sometimes you hear it and you go, no, that's word for word. You've taken it word for word. A friend of mine had a bit that was, they'd gig together and it was on Radio 4, I think, the other comedian, the bigger comedian had done that bit word for word. So my friend contacted him and just said, like, what was that? We gigged together on like Tuesday and now you've just done this live on the radio. And he come back and said, oh, you know what? I knew I'd heard it somewhere, but I thought maybe I just thought of it myself. And it's like, what can you say? Because that bit's dead now. He can never do that. Yeah. He can't go on and do that bit. Cause, wow. Wow. Hmm. Is it, there's nothing to protect you then in that regard? No, other no. than having it recorded, because he's also the same guy. It's Justin Panks. It's the, yeah. I can name him because he's not the one in trouble. He's had bits before where he got contacted and someone said, like, you've stolen my bit. And like publicly on Facebook, uh -huh. like, I've been doing this bit for six months. And, and then Justin put a video on from eight years ago of him <laughs> okay. going, no, this is me doing it on stage when I wrote it eight years ago. And then the other guy goes, oh, sorry. But they've already put a thing on there saying, yeah. you stole my bit. Mm. The damage is done in yeah. a strange like, way. No, yeah. no, no, mate, you've just stolen my bit or you've said my bit yeah but yeah it's nothing you've got to just write through it basically how long does material stay fresh like I mean let's say you, you said that Play-Doh example then you've got like the five minutes yeah. and then you build from it but then at what point do you get known as eh, that's the guy that does yeah. that same joke well that's, what, that's another reason why that Mr. Man bit that I had I just stopped doing because mm. I stopped finding it funny and like I said, I didn't want to be mean. And then um, people would, I'd turn up to gigs, they'd go, you doing the Mr. Man no, bit? No, no, no. And I'd say, no, I'm not. And they'd go, oh. Okay. And it's like, yeah, I remember all the other stuff as well because that was the three minute bit. And then, you know, I was doing 20 minutes, 30 minute sets. It's like, yeah, all the other stuff. Mm. But I, I don't like to do the same set twice at the same club. Is that so, like the etiquette of it in a way? Is like you join, you have a fresh. Not no, no. it's not. At all. Some, is there something that literally? Yeah, there's there's clubbing comedians who do the same twenty minutes for, and have done for the last ten years. Wow! And they make mm. a good living, and they're bulletproof. That's twenty minutes is bulletproof. Um, but yeah, and you can get away with it if you're doing like, the big clubs in London. The audience is such a high turnover. The chances of someone more than a few people seeing you twice is very unlikely. You could go there five years in a row, and you might have one or two people. Uh, yeah, that makes I, sense actually. Yeah, I and now, uh, if you're doing sort of more local clubs where they've got the same audience turn up every week, you can't. They just go, I've seen you do all of that. And the, the whole idea, it depends what you're doing, but if you're doing standard jokes, then the whole idea is the surprise at the end of every sentence because that's how a joke works. Right. And if they go, well, there's no surprise because I've heard you do that before. Mm. Um, but I now MC a lot where I, and I, if I MC, I try not to do any material, I try and just do audience participation uh, okay was that so that's introducing the acts on in between yeah yeah so you yeah. do you end up doing sort of 30 40 minutes a, a night uh but i love it i absolutely love it if i can if i do a, a an mc set and i don't do a bit of material i think that's a success really yeah so, yeah. How, so you play off the audience with that then yeah so is it really you tease them and get them to feed you something and then you well that can work because that was a really big thing for me i'd if i was writing material i'd mc i'd come up with an idea like just a little nugget of idea. So it's something you put in a bullet point. And in my phone, I'll have notes that just say, something about going to the doctors. Like it would just be, I don't, it'd be slightly more than that, but just very, very slightly. And then I could go on stage if I've got that little tiny nugget of an idea. And then I would talk to the audience and somehow get them to mention something that I could then link to the doctors and then okay. go into that routine. And it looks like you've thought of that off the top of your head based on what they've said. Yeah. And it's a very good trick. If you've got a little bit of material, I had a, a really good bit, even if I do say so myself, about uh, superheroes. And I went to the audience because I think men are immature. So I'd go into the audience and say, do you think men are immature? And all the ladies would go, yeah. And then I'd say, the wheel, every man knows what superpower he'd have. Like straight away, okay. uh, every man would know. So if I said to you, Barry, what superpower would you have? You could yeah. have any superpower. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, just to be able to think straight would be pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just to have, be able to get through yeah. life. So, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, flying. Yeah, flying. So where would you fly to? Um, Florida. Florida. Yeah. You can just go to Florida. It's like 300 quid. 
yeah, it's, a, true, yeah. it's a massive waste yeah. of a superpower. Most people <laughs> yeah. would say yeah. rescue Somalian war children. I've always had a joke. I didn't realize I was being analysed yeah. my, my <laughs> power selection. Yeah, I'm just saying most people care. But yeah. uh, okay. but no, so um, that is what I've just done there is the bit, yeah. basically. Okay. So I thought of that joke. Because ah, people only have to say lead flight. In. You would say... Uh, cause extreme pain to Piers Morgan. Again, slightly troubling. Uh, You've but, clearly never met Piers Morgan. Oh yeah, that is scum. Yeah, that's the um, one. Ass man. <laughs> <laughs> but so I would do that because people will say flight, mm. and they'll always say somewhere close or somewhere you can go to three hundred quid. Right. Most people go Paris. You can, you can just go to Paris. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> twenty pounds. Right. You can get a train yeah, yeah. for God's sake. And then I'd say you didn't say you could fly fast or high. So you could be <laughs> flying at eight foot off the ground very slowly. Levitate, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take me six months to get there, but by God, I'm flying. <laughs> so okay, that, yeah, yeah. that is a pre-written bit of material yeah. that you made it look like I thought up there and there. Okay, that's And then clever. other people would say x-ray vision. And then when a man says x-ray vision, what would you look at? He will always take a second to think, what would I think of? And you say, oh, Barry's a pervert. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That will always Thanks. be a laugh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, most of them will be Barry's a pervert. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, you can say honest, it again if you want. It's one of the out of context to count yeah, again. It's a bite. <laughs> no, it's a pervert. <laughs> Uh, oh, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, family channel over. Yeah, so there's like four or five things that people say x ray vision, super speed, flight, uh, and mostly women say, because I would ask a lady. So I'd yeah, say, yeah, I wonder what, what a lady would say. What do you think they'd say? Well, Kirsty, what would you say? If you could have a super, you power, have a super, any power. super power. Sorry? Be invisible. invisible. What would you do if you were invisible? Oh, you... Like you. you don't need to know. She's a pervert. <laughs> Kirsty's a pervert as well. Isn't <laughs> so I would then say that... See, this is mean, so I wouldn't say this anymore. But I would then say, I wasn't sure if I'd like being invisible, so I spent a day in a home for the blind. It's just the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just moving stuff around. Yeah, so it's yeah. a horrible joke. It's no, not no. funny. But when you start out, you write horrible things like that. So I wouldn't say that anymore. No, but that no. is what I, I just said it. But <laughs> yes. yeah, I and we recorded yeah. it. I would never say <laughs> that out on. I would never say that on stage. No, no. That's um, and then yeah, it makes it look like you've said. But most women would say uh, the most women would say the ability to freeze time. That's the ninety percent of the answers I get. Like an anti aging thing. There's so much. No, I think they're just busier than us doing stuff. Oh yeah. So like yeah. the washing up fairy in my house. She's brilliant yeah, <laughs> oh. but yeah so that's that's how that works it's a trick but yeah i try not to do that now if i can do it without going into bits of material if i could just have a conversation mm. then that's and that's sort of what that thing. kind of develops by being an mc in a way okay that's cool have you ever done stand-up other than the pun run the other day yeah a few little bits but I, as i was saying to ash earlier i'll only do it if i know the audience is on side <laughs> Yeah. How do you do that, though? Um, very carefully vet gigs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so like, um, you know, uh, Beck Hill's uh, fun run. Pun, fun run? Her fun run. <laughs> fun run. <laughs> I mean, that is Jesus, that's the most tiring game. of all gigs. <laughs> you run a marathon comedy, yeah, and then you've got to be really yeah. funny. And all you can talk about is chafing and nipple, <laughs> nipple balm. Uh, nipple Which on is something. hilarious. So, yeah. Yeah. Or teat balm. Yeah. Teat balm. Yeah. Teat yeah. balm, of course. Teat balm. That sounds like a German scientist. Professor Teat balm. That's a Dr. 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 <laughs> I'm sending Goldeneye. Oh, we had Dr. Doak on a previous episode from James Bond. Well, from, not from the movie, but... Um, Goldeneye. You ever yeah. played Goldeneye on oh, Nintendo 64? Oh, Nobody ever says no. Odd job, Golden yeah. Gun? Oh, odd, no odd job. Come on now. Oh, I'm job. so bad. Like, I love computer games, but I'm so bad. My, me and my friend played uh, Call of Duty a little while ago, and he was like, right, okay, you, I will have no gun, <laughs> and you can have the gun. It's just me and him in this world... And he would just run up and chop me to death while I just shot a machine gun into the air. <laughs> it's absolutely so infuriating. Wow. And now I've got a boy, he's about 12, something like that. And uh, he um, he's so much better at computer games really? than me. So we'll play... Like, we went to um, Insomnia Gaming Event and he entered the Mario Kart competition, mm. which was on the, the big Nintendo stand and everything. And he won. He won this thing. And there was a cocky kid, right? There was this little cocky kid. It was about 15. And he was celebrate every time, like, I, I think my son won, obviously, a few races. But this kid was being cocky. And on the last lap, that kid was in the lead and about to win the competition. <laughs> and my son, who was in glider form, 
went down and over the top of this kid, over the line. Oh. It's more oh. proud than winning any comedy award <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. or anything. I had to leave the what auditorium. What did you do? I literally had to walk out. There was in the, this massive room, big Nintendo stage, <laughs> hundreds of people watching on these big screens. Wow. I had to walk out of the room. Yeah. Because Daddy needs I, to calm down. And Daddy <laughs> couldn't be going, yes, you're first, you little shit. He beat you. And we went outside. I just said to the boy, I was like, you can just, whatever you want. Just yeah. buy whatever you want. <laughs> he got, Nintendo gave him so much stuff as well. Wow. He's, like the be- he's a massive Nintendo fan. And they gave him this bag just full of Nintendo goodies. And I was just like, it's the proudest thing that's ever happened. I've just had a baby and it knocks that into a, <laughs> into a hat. Well, you've done it before anyway. So, oh, yes. this must be the best day of your life. When the insomnia 2018 <laughs> was pretty big. Got a certificate on the wall, a little birth certificate in the jaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's incredible. Amazing. It was wow. incredible. I know I was like with Mario Kart I was playing my kids the other day and they kept beating me yeah. and I like, realised they had the auto steer on I was like took that off I, I didn't <laughs> know, so. come on but yeah he, he will like he can beat me Throw up the controller down. <laughs> come on I'm also now spending so much money on computer games that I haven't played they're so expensive yeah, yeah. and I've got, I bought Spider-Man just after Christmas not touched it I right bought, um, Red Dead Redemption did you get it on the web uh, sorry that jokes that jokes see so moving swiftly on, <laughs> um, I saw on Twitter there was some Switch game controversy where your son lost all his Switch oh. games, but you oh. did find them again, didn't it, you? That is one of the most stressful things that's ever happened in my life. Like I said, we had a baby, but no, <laughs> it was he. It's quite just smooth going, isn't it? Suddenly yeah. realised that he had lost all of his Switch games. <sighs> Like he just was like, he opened up his bag, he's got this bag. It's the, oh. one of the bags Nintendo's got. Nintendo so he has games. the physical cartridges then, the little ones. Yeah, yeah, ones, they're like so. little, yeah, no, you do not lick <laughs> And uh, yeah, he had, he was like, they're gone. I was like, when did you have them? And obviously, because he's like 10 or whatever, he said, uh, I don't know. <laughs> 10 or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> And Why do we never have guests who know how old their own children are? <laughs> okay. well, I've that. got my kids' date of birth on my wrist. I don't know. I have to work it out. He's but like, a... is that what it says on his birthday cake? Ten or it's whatever. It's very difficult because he's, he's <laughs> just yeah. He's now. Um, I mean, you know, it's private to him. It's his business. But he is turning into a man now. Like this is. He's a hairy. Oh yeah. He's fully. He's got like, Sasquatch. He's, like. Yeah, his voice is going, and he's uh, he's got massive. Pair of bollocks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know because I'm not allowed in the room anymore. Honestly, I went in to wake him up for school, and uh, he just looked at me. I was just wearing pants because I'm his dad. You're allowed to do that, and uh, he just looked at me and went, this can't happen anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so that was not you coming in, or just you in general existing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but no, he's like he's turning into a man, and um, I can't remember the point of what I was going to make. Yeah, lost some Switch games. Lost some I, Switch I don't know games. how turning into them. <laughs> yeah, I just needed to tell you about it. It's just really troubling me that he's... He'll just sit down in bed and uh, because he's got these hairy armpit things going on now and he's 12 or whatever. And he will... Um... <laughs> Is that what he's 10 a minute ago? <laughs> he's 11 or 12. Right. <laughs> it's actually it's 37. Like, it's like 18 years old. He's under 18 because he hasn't v- voted. Yeah. Uh, no, he, Has he, he driven a car? Yeah, he drives a car, but oh. we're from uh, Basildon. So. Oh, oh, that means nothing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's over three. He, he puts his arms back like this. Okay, thing. yeah. You get the old Olympic shot putter style. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's on a lot of uh, hormonal drugs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't we all these days? You know? yeah, yeah, so he lost it. He's like, I don't know where they are. I don't know where they've all gone. And uh, oh. so we searched. We turned the house upside down. We turned upside down the all the houses we've been to that weekend. Phoned his mum. I was like... There's that. There's the thousand pounds worth of games easily gone, and uh, his mum said, "Well, I've searched this house. It's not here. Gone." I was like, "I don't. I can't be angry." He was so upset, and I'd gone online and sort of. I don't know what I was hoping for. I was just so distraught. <laughs> and then uh, a good friend of mine, who is a very good stand-up comedian and with a lot of Twitter following, he was just about to go. Let's crowdfund and buy this kid his games back, which would have been great. And the boy went to his mum's house after school and um, he was like, they're just on the side. <laughs> just, you know, no. just, like, his mum had searched them and they're just sitting there. He actually felt like he FaceTimed me as he went into his room because he's a, you know, teenage kid or whatever he is. And uh, <laughs> he just was like, I was like, look, you're going to search properly. So he said, um, he goes, yeah, yeah, so I FaceTimed you. Yeah. So he walked into his room. I was like, what's that there? And they're in a case. I was like, what's that? He went, oh yeah, that's them. <laughs> but it had been, I hadn't slept properly. Yeah. I'd had proper anxiety. I mean, he nearly crowdfunded a thousand pounds. But yeah, we found them. But it was, 
horrifying. Just it suddenly dawned on me the amount of money that you put into it, and the switch is so portable that uh, you mm. could just you could leave it, put it down on the bus. Mm. You wouldn't get the bus. Uh, you could uh, <laughs> you could just put it down, and you'd you'd lose it. Yeah. And it's a thousand pounds. I don't. Have, well, this, I wouldn't carry anything. I wouldn't wear a watch. One of my friends has got a watch that's like five oh, grand. Yeah. Yeah. Why? You wouldn't dare leave the house with it, would you? What does or it Or have do? it in a house? What's the most expensive thing you own in that in that regard? Uh, of an item. Mm. Um, that's a great question. Like a gold pair of pants or something. Oh, or? I've got the gold <laughs> pair of pants. The most expensive item. I mean, iPad maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care for anything. No, like I, I agree. That. With that's that. the thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't. <laughs> no, this is like fifty quid in an airport, Norwich Airport, actually. In the Norwich duty free. Airport, really? Really? Yeah, I flew to Norwich when Norwich I went to C2 recently. Yeah. yeah, international airport. But uh, don't they just look at the big metal beasts and shoot? <laughs> as they come into land. That's why we've got the airport to keep them busy. Throwing <laughs> <Yes>. spears. <laughs> spears. I mean, I mean they sharpened sticks at the most. I mean, come on. There's it? not drones in Norwich. It's just the locals throw sticks. <laughs> there, there's dr- this is just reminded me. I was doing a joke about drones. Just people going, oh, <laughs> but, uh, sound person, yeah, sound person from Barsons 1.0 went to a drone festival. Yes, and it was drone fest. Yeah, yeah, yeah it we wasn't were, like we flying drones. Literally, the noise of it. Uh, yeah, we thought, oh, you're going to drone because you yeah. invited us along. And she's like, oh yeah, can, can I have a look. We're like, oh, maybe it's the last. You know, we're going to go get some food. Oh, come along, it's only local. Like, oh, maybe it's going to be drone. And it was literally like there was a guy there with a synth. Yeah, rich as well. The sound. Yeah. And, and they, yeah, they all kind of went under. Th- a bridge in London or yeah, something. So the, uh, that droning noise. Have you heard of brown noise? Yes. So it's the a certain brown droning noise. White noise. A frequency. White noise is the best if you've got a baby as well. You, you can get that on, on like Alexa and stuff. Yeah. yeah and it just makes a... Is that good for a baby? Our baby has been an absolute dream. You put it on and they yeah. just go sleep. <laughs> you spend the rest of the night fixing the air on just tell it. Yeah. <laughs> it's white noise. You have to... <laughs> <laughs> Give him a kiss. Like yeah. <laughs> Pepper pigs on yes. in a minute. <laughs> I know that this is an old hacky thing to say, but kids don't know they're born. Never, I used yeah. to. I broke the aerial on my TV in my yeah. bedroom, so I made one out of uh, kitchen foil. Yeah, and I had to like just bend it and like hang it mm. over things. Yeah, yeah they'll it. never know, will they? But it, no, they. Or never the choke know. on a car. I never had that. My dad did, but mm. you never get a choke, did now. I, I had a. I, um, I had a choke on. I had a Yugo. Oh, uh, was my first car. Um, and the choke, you could drive the car yeah, on the, the choke. choke. Oh, really? Yeah, so you could accelerate up to full speed <laughs> using the choke. That car would have burst into flames at some point. My friend's Mini at high school actually had to have the choke out constantly. It wouldn't even do it. Yeah, wouldn't even crazy. turn over. It's, I, I think I the choke just yeah. lets a little bit more fuel in the engine. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, yeah, my one was just, you could do the. Whole it was way. about three weeks off having to have somebody run alongside just. Gallonding fuel into the bloody tank <laughs> as you went along. Yeah. Like those planes where they have to refuel <laughs> with uh, <laughs> the nozzle. There's yeah, another the... mini alongside of the hose. <laughs> just just, just a giant barrel. It's the Italian of fuel. job or something like yeah. Michael Caine driving alongside and filling it up or something. I've got yeah, an yeah. idea, lad. <laughs> Get another fucking car. Yeah, just yeah. Just driving behind a white transit yeah. van constantly <laughs> with a nozzle out the but front of it. Kids will never know like what it's like to try and do your research on in Carter 95 for school. Oh, oh, no. oh, yeah. oh there you go. The internet is too easy. And I see facts. That wasn't that long ago. Teletext. Yeah, t- oh, yeah. That's all been superseded now. The Cornish internet. The Cornish internet. <laughs> <laughs> but I wonder what our kids will say to their kids. Oh, you yeah. didn't have... Back when I was a kid, it was just the internet. We didn't have the things that instantly pumped into our brains. Yes, yeah. in your eyeball or something, yeah. We were talking about Lucy earlier, which is about 3D printing, right? And like how you can 3D print a house or something like that, or yeah. just pre- whatever you want. Just You'll have this huge printer and it will just make anything. You just, yeah. you just download well, it. They're doing body like. parts, aren't they? They're yeah. yeah. literally are building... Like hip replacements flesh. and stuff we were saying about. No, yeah. no, I'm talking about flesh. Real flesh. Yeah, yeah. They, they can do skin and stuff. Yeah. They will wow. be like hearts made by a 3D printing in the not too distant Where do you get the skin from? The butchers? It's Yeah, yeah, it's all pig meat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you said old pygmy from <laughs> yeah. a lot of really short guys <laughs> leave us alone up, <laughs> yeah, they, they replace your heart with a pygmy and he just does all the <laughs> <laughs> that's their hearts like. <laughs> it's like, like the numbskulls yeah. oh I love the numbskulls <laughs> oh, if my, my kid God. wasn't if he was able to read <laughs> they don't read comics anymore either oh. I'd show him all the numbskulls I love the numbskulls I used to although I knew the numbskulls weren't real I definitely used to imagine it was real Oh, that's they awesome. were little tiny people that lived in the brain mm. of this guy who yep. could never get a girlfriend and there'd be like a stomach department and things yeah. like oh, that it's yeah. incredible yeah. Um, we've got three questions that we always ask people 
It's got nice quick fire ones. Um, who is the most famous person you've ever met? Um, there's a funny answer and there's a true answer, I guess. Yeah. I've, I met, um, I've met Billionaire. Oh. He was not a good man. A billionaire. Yeah, he was a billionaire, but he was not... Is he well-known? Pleasant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't name him, but he uh, he owned a Formula One team. Oh. And I did some uh, did some work for him, and he he was... Yeah, he wasn't great. Uh, <laughs> we when went, you say work for him, like stand-up work or something? Yeah, yeah. So oh, an event and another guy went out. Well, first off, we went to a place where he had a hotel. I mean, he's not going to watch this. Not because it's shit. I mean, <laughs> yes, just, yeah. It's not, yeah. It's not his he, genre. Uh, he, we went to do, he was opening a hotel. So we went down to do a gig there. And I was with another guy who's very well established, you know, you would know. And uh, we went down to do this gig and... They said, all right, so it's for this opening hotel, you do 20 minutes and then blah, blah, blah. And we've been put up for the night, which is nice, but we weren't being put up in the new hotel, which was empty other than the five, six people, so maybe 20 people that were at the gig. Oh. And we were put up in a pub opposite. And so we turned up and they said, all right, we're, uh, he's just busy at the moment, but he'll be out. So we waited 40 minutes, he still hadn't come out. So I went back out, I was sorry, can we, we're going to need to see him. He's like, yeah, yeah, he'll be out in a minute. But another 40 minutes went by and eventually we're like, we're going to go if we, he doesn't go. Yeah, he's just, he's playing chess. So he'll be out. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, like, chess is famously a game you can't in any way pause or stop while playing. Exactly. It, it? Yeah, it's yeah. very fast paced. Yeah. So then he uh, eventually come out, showed us the room. It's like, you'll do this, you'll do this. You go back over to your, the pub where you're staying and you'll be called when it's at 11 o'clock when short times come on after everyone's eaten and blah, blah, blah. So then when he, I went over first and uh, when he's going to introduce my friend on stage, he did this whole thing about how he was like doing this guy a favour. Now this guy's an internationally known comedian and he's like, oh, let's all make this guy's day and really make him feel well. I mean, he's paying him a fortune to yeah. be there. It's like, and so he introduced him on stage, but he said like, I want you to do this much time and if I stand up and clap, you do an ovation, like an a, a, a encore. Mm. And um, if I don't, then don't. Oh, right. He's like, so, you're my audience. Like, so, wow. It gets to this end of the show and everyone stands up and just applauds. And um, my friend just starts going again, but he hadn't stood up. Oh. So then he finishes this little encore that he does and then he stands up and does an applause and my friend just went, bump, straight out, gone. Like, like, wow. Not getting involved in that. So then we got booked again to do his house uh, abroad. So we were be flown out to this, uh, to abroad, mm. I won't say where, and uh, he said, right, I'm going to pay my friend, I'll pay him a lot of money to do the gig. He said, but you can pay Ash. And my friend said, no, mm. uh, if you pay Ash. You pay me what we've agreed and then you also pay Ash. And then he said, no, I'm not going to do that. He said, right, you pay, I'll pay his fee, but you pay for the flights. And then he went, no. And he went <laughs> on and on and on like this. And then... Um, he just ended up agreeing to pay me as well. Right. Got out there and he gave us all pocket money, 100, 100 um, euros each. So he quibbled over this amount of money, <laughs> but then just gave, oh, get yourself something to eat. Uh, and that was crazy. He, sa he was sacking people at this, it was a party for his daughter and he was sacking people at the party. Kids like, love that to be Yeah, familiar. yeah. Well, the kid was 21 or so. Oh, so it probably like, did actually. And, but he was just like <laughs> screaming at people and sacking them. It was mad. And then we did a gig at his house where he was, uh, he had some other business people there. And we were just, there were so many rules. It's like, you do this, you do this, you go there, you do this. And he had a butler, which was, he was lovely, this butler. And um, they were like, right, when you turn up, you had to put on, you had to take your shoes off, which is good, you should do that. But then you were given a pair of black socks to wear um, because, so that your socks didn't go on the carpet or whatever. So we all, we had to change our socks to go on. And uh, my friend was like, no, I'm going to wear my shoes. I'm going to, because I'm perform performing in this mansion. And, uh, but yeah, we had to change our shoes. So he's probably the most famous, but I've not given you a name. But, yeah, yeah okay. he's most, but the, uh, the best one is Shane Ritchie. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so he's been... You had a video from him, didn't you? On the yeah, Twitter, yeah, he? he did my bucket speech for my Edinburgh show. That's right, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's been intrinsic in everything good that's happened in my life. I mean, there's an Edinburgh show. If you haven't bothered to come and see it, I'm not going to go into it now. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> not the, you, the, the it, listener. Is this, yeah. yeah. Lollygagger? Lollygagger, yes. Mm. It was all about Shane Ritchie and uh, what he's done for me. Oh, awesome. Yeah. He, uh, he's a nice guy then, Shane Richard. He's the best. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some of his ex-wives might not say that, but I... Oh, really? <laughs> no, he is. He's bloody lovely. He's been brilliant. Yeah. Uh, have you ever been in a local newspaper? 
Yes, I've been in a local newspaper. I um, I did a stand-up show in South End, um, which was called Due to Foreseen Circumstances, which you can get on Bandcamp if you're that way inclined. Yeah, it's a place where you can... It's normally for music. You put your oh, music right. on there and people can listen to it. You can have it for free. You pay what you want, basically. Oh, yeah. So if you like it, you can contribute. American um, Pie, you don't but it's and it's got the Mr. Men bit in there, so there you go, you can only listen to that. Um oh, cool. but again, it's it's the first show I ever did and uh I got interviewed by the local paper, but at the time I was between uh marriages and so I was living I was basically homeless for a couple of weeks. Uh and that's when they decided, oh we want to do an interview with you. And when I say homeless, I was staying like, on friends' sofas and mm. stuff. And I wasn't really between marriages. I was just, you know, one had crumbled. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, can we? Because no, uh, no. we don't. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. So, yeah, I uh, I was happy. I was very happy. And so we'd, I was basically, yeah, I had, like, beard and just dishevelled as you would be from not having your own place. And they were like, yeah, we're going to bring a photographer. We're going to talk <laughs> oh, about the new show. I was like, uh, great stuff. Yes, yeah. please. So I did this interview. And like I say, I wasn't unhappy really, but I um I just did this thing. It was just like this couldn't have happened at a worse time, really, to be yeah, going to the local paper. But yeah, that yeah, was yeah. that was still there. That's the most embarrassing situation you've ever been in. Um I mean I get I, I honestly think that men are idiots in general. Yeah. And and this is a good <laughs> my, <laughs> all of my um stand up is based on true things that happen pretty much, and it's all because I'm a moron. Uh, every single thing is just stupid. I just, uh, one example I've, I talk about now, it's just a stupid thing. Like I saw a dog that was lost in the street recently and I thought I'm going to go and help the dog back to its owner because it was sniffing around a house. So I knocked on the door and as I knocked about 10 houses down, a lady came out in a dressing gown and was like, scraps, scraps. Oh, yeah. And so the dog oh. ran back and the guy then just opened the door. And, and I was like, I went, I found a lost dog. But then it went home. <laughs> and he's like... It's like Lassie sort of thing. And it's that... Please keep me updated. Every day yeah. for my entire life. But well, that gives you material then, in, in a way. Yeah, well, that, yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. But that, I think, genuinely, that's what being a stand-up is. It's getting those little stupid things to happen and go, I'll make, I'll talk about that. Do you think that's, it's the way you get that across? Because we sort of talked about... We met Beck Hill earlier. And mm. I, I think she sort of mentioned the opposite of that, didn't she? In a way of how life... It exploded in a clown factory. Yeah, yes. that's right. Yeah, it's like how she's... I think it was struggling to get that across, wasn't but it? It's, uh, it depends, I think, on how believable the story is. For, I mean... Ash being embarrassed by a man by an escaped dog is quite yeah, believable. So, yeah, you can but believe if you have it, yeah. something really crazy happen to you and you try and tell them the comedy show, yeah. just nobody it believes it. Become fiction, and it's yeah, not funny. Right. This yeah. happened with the Shane Ritchie thing because what the 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 string of events that have happened with Shane Ritchie, I would do the bit and they'd go, that can't have happened. None of those things could have happened, right. especially not in a chain of events. And I found that really difficult to sort of get across as like, this is true. And if you keep saying, this is true, this is true, then an audience go, well, this isn't true. So that's why I've then got like proof of these things happening now. Uh, the part of the show, I can't just do it as a club set. I can't go on stage and go, these things happen with Shane Ritchie. It has to involve me showing the proof, the video and the, and then him doing that thing at the end just sort of highlights it for me. Oh, right. Bucket, so it covers so. your, yeah. Oh, awesome. I believe you got a game with you? Yeah, so I did this um, game before. Stuart, I think, has seen this in a, some format, but I did this last night. At a oh, game. yes, I'm with you. Yep, yep, so yep. I love action films, as I know you both do as well. Okay. And I thought, when I, when I looked at <laughs> Barry's, like, you don't have to have any knowledge <laughs> of action films. But when I looked at the... I realised, because it all came back, I was watching Top Gun with my son. I was trying to show my son films like the films I loved as a kid and it dawned on me that they're all shit like <laughs> every single 80s film is rubbish even right. the ones that are brilliant are awful yeah I know I know what you're saying so I, mean, I love happens. an 80s film but I think yeah, what's, my, what's your favourite 80s film uh, well Back to the Future Back to the Future Top is Gun great. I do like Top Back, Gun Back I like The Dark Crystal I like Ooh. Bed Knobs and Broomsticks but there's massive <laughs> periods of these pre films is that pre-80s it? it's yeah. like 70s um Battery's not included. See, that was one that someone mentioned last night. I yeah. did this last night. And these films are bad. Like, when was the last time watched Battery's not included? If I, I know what you're saying. If I rewatch it, then I'll There's probably be like... There's massive chunks Ooh. where nothing happens in these films. Yeah. Um, but Top Gun was the one. I was like, right, this will definitely work. Top Gun. I, I, I said to him, like, oh, I used to play Top Gun in the playground at playtime. And he was like, he said, what do you... I said, what do you do at 
playtime. He went, well, at break, I play Fortnite on my phone. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah that's better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and so we watched Top Gun, and so we're watching it, and nothing happens at all in the whole film. And then it dawned on me, so there was the main character in Top Gun? Called? Maverick. Maverick, that's yeah. not his name. No. You know his name, oh, don't you? Do you know I've forgotten? What's his name? I can't think of it Tom now. Tom Cruise. His name is Pete Mitchell. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. That is not an action hero name. Yeah. Like, Pete Mitchell. Pete Mitchell. His mother is Barbara Windsor. He's, in his yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's an accountant, not a yeah. vice pilot, okay. Pete Mitchell. So yeah. I thought, I looked into every major action hero, and they're all men because it's sexist. Right? Yeah. And um, they they all use just a handful of names. It's like Jack, uh, Frank, John. Okay. And then they have a surname, which is just a... It'll be like Terry Leather is yeah, one. Yeah. Um, Frank <laughs> Shatter. I used to wash my car with. Frank Shatter. Frank Shatter. Frank Shatter is a uh, Chuck from? Norris one. Yeah. Oh, right. Frank my favourite is still Colonel John Matrix John from Matrix. Commando. Oh, that's yeah. a great film. John oh, Matrix. I love So what that I did film. was I took all of the first names from action heroes yeah. and I put them in this little pot here. And then I put, I put some... Some of them are made up, is but they're all... Is that number two? It's a little... There's a number one there. Oh. You might, won't pick that up. It's because I did this last night on stage, so I thought it'd bring... Oh, yeah, it looks so show busy. What we do is... And then I, I did this yesterday. What I also did was I took the 100 top action movies, as uh, I'm as according to IMDb, mm. and I put every word from those 100 films into a randomizer. Did the titles or the entire script? The scripts? titles, uh, yeah. Okay, And yeah. so I thought we could pick your action hero names and then we could generate a movie title and you could tell yeah. me what you think those movie titles Okay, are. cool. Nice. So, right, if you want to blindly put your hand in to take a first name. Okay. And it should I be... I'll do the same. Do I? Yeah, you can. Well, let's give you a surname. Oh, God, I think I've got a handful. I need to open my eyes to read it. Yeah, I'll give you surnames and then you can give me the full name. There's the surname. Do you want to take... We could have done anything to him. Though. <laughs> yeah. uh, and you take your surname. It's a surname. Uh, uh, yeah. Can I open my eyes now? Yeah, you, you didn't have to close your eyes in the first place. That was something imposed by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what, it was like um, Fifty Shades or something. <laughs> okay. All right. So, what is your action hero now? Hans Yippikaye. Han Yippikaye. Yeah. Han right? Yippikaye. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Nice. And, and you are. I've got Frank Raindorf. Oh, <laughs> which is better, I would say. Yeah. yeah. So um, this is the randomizer, specifically for Stuart. Okay. Says hello. Um, hey. So Han Yippie Kaye. Han Yippie Kaye stars in, and if this is rubbish, we will skip to one that isn't rubbish. Okay. Uh, so the first word of your title is Looper. Looper. Looper uh, Avengers. Avengers. Yeah. Looper <laughs> Avengers. <laughs> I would watch that. Yeah. What do you think? What's the film? What um, happens in Looper Avengers? It's about people that are stuck on a fairground ride. In a loop, and you'd watch this film, yeah, but the superheroes fa- saved them. Fireman, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah true. Yeah, the fireman Han Yippie Kaye saves yeah, the yeah. day. There we okay. go. And uh, so yours was Frank <laughs> Frank Raindorf. Frank Raindorf. Yeah, and so your film will be called Star. Kill. Star kill. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. So Frank Raindorf <laughs> is a ex Marine who is now a weatherman. <laughs> and he has discovered a horrible conspiracy to destroy freedom in the United States of America <laughs> from TV presenters. So he gets all these TV presenters or stars and kills them. <laughs> it's a lovely twist. I'll quickly do one because I think I did this last night and one of the things that come up was arse, uh, arse blood. <laughs> It was Kick Ass and uh, First Blood. So, oh. uh, so I've got Owen Freeze is the name. Oh, that's, come up with. that's a name. So his film will be called Wanted Weapon. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Wanted Weapon. It's that a porn film. A it's a porn too film. Well. That's amazing. Yes. Well, I just was there. I was at home. I gave everyone that I bumped yeah. into yesterday, I gave a film title. So Indiana Jones Casino. <laughs> <laughs> it works for everyone. <laughs> That's basically the start of Temple of Doom. Yeah, there you go. And we could go forever. Ass, Mrs. Ass, Mrs. Ass, Mrs. Ass, Jurassic Ass, Jurassic Heat, arousing and educational all films. Yes. Get your porn. This is going to be. Get, get your porn. What? Get your porn. <laughs> Come on, Barry. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm going to give Barry his uh, porn film name. Uh, Star Dog. <laughs> I've got two pucks. <laughs> <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Ashens. Yeah. I'm going to call you Ashens accidentally, yeah. but that's going to work. That's all right. Uh, your porn film is called Jurassic. It's a good start. <laughs> Report. 
<laughs> Doesn't sound the most erotic, does it? <laughs> Jurassic Report. Just yeah. a, oh, you've got a lovely form. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I looked Sexually back and it was a lovely diplodocus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I jotted it up in my report book and it had a massive cock and balls, I remember. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a game. And my one will be Holmes. So that might be the second word. Speed homes. It's not good. Sherlock, Mr. Sherlock, enemy raiders. <laughs> enemy raiders. Fast raiders. There we go. <laughs> oh, what a way to finish. That was incredible. That's the title of your porn film. What a way to finish. <laughs> I could literally sit in a room all day and just do that. That would be yeah, so funny. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Thank you. We're back, we're back you in. Yes, yeah. your own, yes. Make your own decisions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> be productive. You can Being a comedian, that's all I do. Most of the day. <laughs> Oh, have you oh, had a busy right. day writing, Ash? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you want? Oh, brilliant. Well, thank you, Ash, for coming on. Thank you for having me. I uh, love you both. No, no problem. Yeah, mm. it's, it's mutual, physical and hey, digital. Again, you have not sold it. <laughs> <laughs> Ash, I love you. Thank you. Yes. Oh, that was yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, now you wish we touch. hadn't skin sold on it. Skin. <laughs> yes. um, where can people find you, Ash? Uh, on Twitter, at Ash Frith, on Facebook, Ash Frith. My name. Is that your personal one, or do you have a page? <laughs> like, oh, I do have a page. Send me friend requests. Um, but Pranks and Firth is the podcast. I'd love it if you listen. I'll tell you what, this is what we can do, because mm. I'm desperate. I'm trying to get to be the world's number one Twitter comedian at the moment. So, yeah, I mean, like, I, want, I want to break the record for having the most followers. So pretty close to them. I've got about a thousand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think probably getting close. <laughs> and so if you're watching this, if you um, tweet me, follow me, I will give you a random name and I'll, I'll give you your action film. Oh, that's amazing. I'll do that for everyone yeah. that follows me. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll we, do it for we, everyone. We will have 20 I, people listening to this. I did nearly kill this, so. kill with this one. <laughs> 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 so yeah, yeah, good I, luck. I, yeah. I've got a lot of time on my hands. And for any football <laughs> fans, you also do a radio show. I do a radio show on Radio Essex, which you can get, uh, if you live in Essex, you can listen yeah. on the radio, which is impressive uh, or, or you can go listen to the Radio Essex app we're on every Saturday it's about Essex football but if you do all listen then mm. they will pay me more money and I'll be longer employed so awesome let's do that and he'll give you an action it's, name as well it's called Soccer PM I do it with Matt Adlington who's a very good comedian nice all right. Well, thanks, Ash. Uh, mm. Cheers to you and cheers thank, thank you, you very much appreciated sir I'll see you again yes, yes actually you should come back with pranks I'd love that yeah not the man just in no, general just pranks <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, we'd love to do that. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Come back with a honking nose and a... <laughs> yeah. I just worked out what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I should have brought some uh, slapstick car. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of those chewing gums where you pull it out, you know, the... the... Oh, yeah, there's this oh, thing yeah. that takes your finger I off. I would never... Yeah. That, that scars me. I would never open a chewing gum like that now, even though I know I legitimately bought it. I do it with my tongue. Oh! oh. Fantastic. Well, we'll see you again. <laughs> <laughs>